In this video, we are going to do a recap of uh, what we did in thermometer chart. So over here, the data has been given as an average temperature and temperature in 2016. So over here, you have to note a thing. Uh, the data has been given to us uh, in terms of temperature and we are calling this chart as a temperature chart. So it does not necessarily that only temperature uh, data can be depicted via this chart. I've just taken an example in the previous video or previous when we did a temperature chart, we also took a sales data over here. All right, so that's the word of caution. Uh, procedure remains simple. You just have to select the data, insert and insert the chart. Just elongate this chart a bit and just make it a little big. You just have to do some cosmetic changes over here. You select any of the chart. You increase the overlap. Increase it completely and try to decrease or increase the width. Uh, okay, so again, the second chart. Once you do that, uh, just click on any of the charts. So let's say temperature in 2016. I will shift it to a secondary axis and just try to increase the width again. So it basically what it does is and then give a formatting in a such a way that uh, it will show the numbers as well. It'll show the numbers as well and just try to decrease or increase the width in such a way that it appears like a it appears like a, uh, a temperature the so temperature it's like you have mercury in the enclosed uh, glass furnace or glass tube so over here it says that usually the temperature is 38 degrees and but in this year it has been 27 degrees so so the the smaller chart basically appears like a thermometer uh, or the, the thinner chart which is over here the temperature in 2016 over here also so we can directly say that in the month of uh, in the month of January February uh, July September October November uh, likewise uh, where the temperature was below the average in January it was far below the average and in terms of uh, March, April, May, July, November, the temperature was above the average, historical average. So that's a clear depiction of this. You can use it in sales, whether the target has been achieved, not achieved, uh, amount of goods has been sold. Same with the case of attrition, where uh, you have uh, people and people have left. So whether you have met the target, not met the target, what is the scenario over there? So this basically about a, a temperature chart is just a depiction is like a temperature this is uh, nothing to do with only the temperatures can be shown by this chart any data you can use it's just the comparison of the two data sets or it's a different way of comparing two different data sets uh, or more efficient way uh, in some kind of a database or data sets. So that's pretty much about this temperature chart. Thank you.